Today we're doing an engineering tier list and this is based off of public perception of your degree with our top tier being status and our bottom tier being why and that's for the jobs that you're really just struggling to see the appeal in the field. Chemical engineering. Chemistry is pretty cool. When you mix fuel, metal oxide, and metal powder in just the right way. The issue with this degree is when it comes to family functions and social events, telling your friends and family, oh yeah, I'm a chemical engineer. But in their heads, all they heard was, say my name. And they're gonna start thinking, huh, I wonder what he does on his weekends and how much he charges. It's gonna be going to cool but side eye. Come on! Now we're gonna be getting into civil engineering. Uh, I, 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 I oh my! just don't understand. Like, yeah, I like bridges. They're pretty cool. Unless you built the Baltimore Bridge, then it's not so cool anymore. But I have to say, why? You're doing the job that architects didn't want to do. You left the architects to do all the cool stuff, and you're left with all the math homework. Like, at that point, just become an architect. It's going straight into why this. <coughs> Next up, we have electrical engineers. No one tells you how difficult electrical engineering is. Plug it in and I share with electrical are my hardest classes and people don't give it the recognition it takes so I can't rightfully put it in smart. I have to slap it in engineer. Yeah people know you're smart but only other engineers know how smart you are. Now computer engineering. It gets grouped in with computer science so much. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. And I have to say, when you're grouped in with comp sci, you get the same type of looks. You don't shower, you wear thigh highs while you program. Oh, hell no, man, what the fuck, man? And on top of that, you're gonna be on the side of the street begging because you can't find a job. So I'm gonna have to throw it into engineering just for the fact that it gets grouped in with comp sci so much that you can't really scrub off those bad stereotypes. Moving from the office to the outdoors, we have geological engineering. This one's really cool. Rocks was one of my favorite classes in first year, but I have to say, you're gonna be working in the middle of nowhere, at least for a little bit of your career, unless you land a really nice office job. The fact that you're gonna be traveling away from home to the middle of nowhere quite often, why? Why are you going so far from home? Who are you running away from? What are you running away from? You're gonna have to spend some time on the side of a railroad, making sure the hill beside it won't collapse. Like, your job's important, yes. It can be really cool, yes, but you're also running away from everything you've known. So I'm gonna be throwing it into cool but side eye. Staying on the same train of thought, we have mining engineering. Previously, you would just look at the rocks. Now, you're actually going to grab the rocks. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen a tunnel boring machine. Those things are massive. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. But you will often have to go to the middle of nowhere to a mine. I don't know if this is you trying to cosplay as a mole, but if you're gonna be in tunnels for a majority of your career, you're gonna be lacking some serious vitamin D. I, I gotta give it cool but side eye. I'm like, you're gonna be in a cave the rest of your career. Uh, we're still going to be keeping it outdoors now with petroleum engineering. And I know the second some of you heard that, dollar signs already showed up in your eyes. Because let's be honest, people are only going into this for the money. That alone throws it into status because people know you're going to be making bank. Morals? Who knows? Global warming? Not really your problem. You're focused on getting that bag. Nice. Next up we have marine engineers and you know the saying who's gonna carry the boats? Well, no one's gonna be carrying any boats if nobody designs them first. You gotta love water. I am under the water. Please help me. Like you gotta really like water to want to do this because your entire career is based around aquatics. How the boat's gonna float, submarines, all that good shit. And the fact that it's kind of obscure, you don't hear about it often, people don't really know what to expect from you because it's like, okay, he does boats. But like, so what? I put a cup in water and it floats. For these reasons, it's just going to be going into engineer. Next up, we're going back into the classroom with a chalkboard. We have physics engineering. Physics is also a class you take in high school. So a lot of people took physics and it was a lot of people's downfall. Fuck this shit! <laughs> yeah! For the general population, when they hear you specialize in the class they failed in in high school, they're instantly just going to be throwing you up as the smart guy around. For that reason, you can probably assume straight into smart. 
keep it in the classroom. We got math engineering up next. And I have to say, it's kind of the same as physics engineering in terms of like what people are gonna think about you because math, a lot of people's downfall. If you dig a six foot hole, how deep is that hole? It's probably like 20 feet. Anybody who took linear algebra instantly respects you if you say you're in math. You are instantly going into smart if you do math engineering. <laughs> if I say engineering, what's the first type of engineering that comes to mind? Mechanical. It is the bread and butter of engineering. You can work in almost any other engineering field with a mechanical degree. You're designing stuff. You also know math. You have to program a bit. It's you, it, Everything just comes together with this degree. If you tell somebody you're an engineer and they just assume mechanical off the bat, that, that obviously just has to place us straight into the engineering tier. Next up, we got nuclear engineering. Just the name alone is bound to scare family members because when they think of nuclear engineering, they hear the word nuclear, they're thinking mutated animals, radiation everywhere, biohazard symbols, Chernobyl, everything comes to mind. You are essentially going to be seen as Oppenheimer by a lot of people. So I have to put it in cool but side eye purely for the fact that you're going to be scaring everyone you tell. Second to last, we got mechatronics engineering. This type of engineering is really, really cool because you're combining computers with mechanical. You're building the next super soldiers. Who knows? Maybe you're gonna be making that weeb's body pillow into an AI physical being. What's your range of emotions? I can see you. <laughs> okay. That is terrifying, straight into status because everyone's just gonna think you're Iron Man from now on. <laughs> Last but not least, we have software engineering. This job, if you can land it, is amazing. The pay off the charts. If you get a job at one of the FAN companies, you're set for life. But here I was all this time thinking they were Bill Gates when they were not even Bill Fence. Instant status. Thank you for watching the video. All engineering is a great job, so truly do just pick what you prefer. And anywho, see you in the next one. Thank you